people usually cannot do it by themselves. That's uh -huh. why they have to go to a professional, like, mm. uh, <laughs> like an you. intimacy coach or any, you know, like. So and what do you do? I break the patterns, oh, you know, like, like with energy. Energy and I, I talk in a certain way mm -hmm. when the energy is high, so it goes right into the unconscious and they shift. Oh, like give me an example of that. <laughs> you know, how does it go into the unconscious? Well, you have to be in a certain level of, of uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, away from your thought system. Uh -huh. Right now you're thinking. Yeah. You have to be away, I take them away from thinking into feeling mm -hmm. uh, through breathing and other techniques. Oh, I see. So that when they are in the state, when I come in with a statement, it breaks the habit. So you're working with a couple one on one in their home? Yeah. Well, or they come to me, uh -huh. actually. They, are they, you coaching them sexually too? Like, are they, like, you know, having sex and you're there, like, you know? Coaching? If they if they want to, right. for instance, some some couples want to find out what position works well, best. Uh -huh. You know, then they would. I, uh, and you you're know, okay I with that? I'm happy to okay, help them. Okay, not everybody <laughs> would be comfortable in that I type of I am very uh, happy to help them, though, that whatever needs to be done to help the couples, I'm really happy. Okay, because yeah. you started as a regular therapist and you probably... Well, you know, as a regular therapist, I didn't reach the kind of um, um, benefits, you know, mm -hmm. the, the kind of changes that mm -hmm. I wanted to achieve. This is a much shorter way of dealing with situation. Sure much why, shorter. It takes only like three, two or three sessions to break all the patterns and to do this and that. Whereas with psychotherapy, since you're talking from the head, it might take years before you go to those things. So the patterns are broken quicker because the people are physical with each other yes. and, you're, and you're changing their physical patterns of expression. Right. right. By suggesting, by you being there suggesting yeah. they do something. Whatever they need, to, whatever needs to be suggested at that uh -huh. moment. I uh -huh. cannot do generalizations. Okay, so you yeah. do workshops then in general for more than, you know, groups well, of people? Well, actually no. The, the, this is the kind of stuff I do in private. Uh -huh. The workshops, I guide people through communication skills, to breathing techniques that uh -huh. they can do then at home. Mm -hmm. For instance, after the first day of my uh, booming relationships uh, workshop that um, I would send them home, for instance, uh, the woman uh, and the man are going to do self-loving. Which is, how do you do, can you? Instead of masturbating. Oh, then you, they, it's another name for masturbating. Not Self, another oh. name, it's a better name. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> masturbating is, is so, okay. so sex-centered. Okay, okay. Self-loving includes the whole person. Like, it's like touching your whole Right, okay. yeah. Falling and in love with yourself. And with then, all of yourself. With all right. of yourself, yeah. And then? And then you include the sex center too, but if you start just with sex, it's very difficult to go to the other parts then. So from self-loving, then it's easier to connect with your partner? Yes. Is that, is that, and that's been the oh, case? Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. If you love me more than I love myself, I'm going to push you away. Ah. Uh. So if I love myself yeah. first, and then we connect. And then, then we can actually grow in love, then rise you, in love, grow in love together. Then you become a kind of extension of who I am. But that's such a hard piece, the self-loving. I mean, we may feel ourselves physically, uh -huh. but the emotional thing behind self-loving, how do you get it's people a, that? It's a very difficult, you need to start on, um, um, forgiving yourself for being human, so to say. Uh -huh. We all make mistakes, we all do some stuff that we don't like to do sometimes. Mm -hmm. And when you say, what would you say to your best friend? It's okay, honey, you know, you were stressed, you, you right. made that mistake. But if I, you know, if a person who doesn't love themselves makes mm -hmm. a mistake, then they would say, how stupid, I should right. have done it. That's not self-loving, it's mm -hmm. criticism. Right. And that doesn't create this so we have to Expansion. stop those voices in our heads from, you know, getting down on ourselves. Yeah, stopping is not possible. You can, you, have, you need to pay attention to the breathing and to the connection mm. and let those voices just float by. Mm. They never stop. They're always there. Mm. It's just we need to choose not to pay attention to it, not to invite them in and to start uh, in, uh, inter interacting with them. And yeah. When you start interacting with those voices, you lose.
Right, right. So it's just like, okay. That, that I know what you're saying. You've been saying them for 50 years. Right. Thank you for sharing. Let me be present. Ah, so it's really coming being present. Oh, yeah. And in sex, lovemaking, it's all about? Uh, being present. Being yeah. present. So thank you. Yeah, I you're mean, welcome. So, I mean, it's interesting. You work particularly with baby boomers. I mean, that's yeah. how you're marketing it. And it's right. like, we have been this generation of exploring sexuality more than any other generation. So... As we mature, there's probably ways that we'll express it differently as well. Right, for definitely. People. We just said it when, when you were very young, yeah. uh, as a man, sexuality is very driven, you yeah. know, by these hormones, and you have to do this. Mm -hmm. Right away, it's very difficult to control and to be a good lover and, and last for two hours. Right. When you are older, you are actually enjoying. Men become more. Uh, relaxed with intimacy, mm -hmm. then they, they start talking more about feelings a little bit. Mm -hmm. Women start becoming more self-assertive, mm -hmm. more like men in a way, and they match more, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Self-assertive, less critical of themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, I like myself more now than when I was 18. Right. I was very self-critical <laughs> of myself when I was 18, you know? Yeah. So, and this is what, this is like your whole work, the fact that people yeah. can be more intimate, more expressive of their feeling, and, and like you say, have hotter, greater Sex. Yes, yes. And just by these tastes, is there anything else that people should know about having hot, great sex? <laughs> well, be spontaneous, like children. Ah. The more spontaneous you are, and the more creative you are with your expression, the, mm. be the best uh, you have the best sex. Mm. Because, for instance, here you go. The children are gone, right, mm. from the house. You have mm. the whole house for yourself. Right. And now you can start making love in the kitchen table. You can, you know what I mean? That <laughs> makes it exciting. <laughs> that yeah. makes it exciting, <laughs> instead of just in the bed all the time and, oh, let's be quiet because the children hear us, uh -huh. right? So you can start to scream and You can and scream, scream and yeah, shout. you can be free. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think actually screaming is probably helps generate more pleasure as well. Uh, more energy and more pleasure, yes. So the, the other myth is, uh, and maybe this isn't a myth, is that women, as they get older, do enjoy sex more. Yes. Is that true? And there is also the myth that, you know, like oral sex is for the young. Yeah. And the Kinsley Institute, which is one of the great institutes, mm -hmm. uh, 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 they, they make a lot of um, studies about sexuality, uh -huh. says that women over 40 yeah. do love uh, oral sex much, much more than when they were younger. Uh-huh. Why yeah. is that? Just they're more used to their bodies? Or? They, uh, they have less uh, fear of being dirty, you uh -huh. know. They know if they clean there, they're clean. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> but when you're young, you feel, oh, man, I don't know. Uh -huh. I might not be clean enough mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. my um, vagina might not be looking mm -hmm. good enough or whatever. <laughs> Later on, <laughs> you know, on, you, they... you just enjoy it more, yeah. Uh -huh. And then sex does become more enjoyable. Oh, absolutely. Because yeah. well, somehow it's like they're also able to experience more pleasure because mm -hmm. they're more comfortable in their bodies. Exactly. Yeah, like, women are more comfortable, men are slower, and you are, they are more in alignment. Mm -hmm. Actually, the best sex is after 50. Okay. Let's, is that let's good news? Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carla. Yeah, Give welcome. people your website so they know how to get in yeah, touch with you. Yeah, it's um, carlatara.com. Mm -hmm. Carla Tara. Tara. Com, my name, yeah. And you give workshops and you do private coaching. Yeah, I do private coaching yeah, and workshops. Thank mm -hmm. you for You're sharing welcome. all your personal research, right? <laughs> <laughs> because you do use yourself. Uh, oh, absolutely. I, I am a baby boomer myself, so I know I went through all of this myself. And this yeah. is probably the most exciting thing you can imagine doing. With you. I am the happiest I've ever been in my life. I have two children, mm -hmm. two grandchildren, and when I'm out playing with my grandchildren, people think that I am the, the mother, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just because I'm so into energetic play with them. But what do you love about this work the most that you're with uh, The transformation, to see uh -huh. people transform, get it. Oh my God, all I have to do is this, you know, just really be present. I can be vulnerable and tell uh -huh. him, uh, I'm really afraid of this. Would you mm -hmm. please slow down? It doesn't feel too good. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a great lover. And at this moment, I cannot force myself to ejaculate or to mm -hmm. come. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, May I make you come instead? <laughs> this is the woman talking to the man? Yes. Okay. Yes. No, I'd rather you first, uh -oh. please. <laughs> <laughs> but if the woman... Right sometimes doesn't feel like coming sometimes to an orgasm right. because she's too tired or because of other issues, the man shouldn't force her to come. Okay. Uh, she should be vulnerable enough to say, honey, you're a great lover. Mm -hmm. It's nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go there right now. Mm -hmm. I feel very nurtured by you. I feel good. And 
I'd rather make you come now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's teaching men and women to express themselves right. more. Yeah. And, but it is exciting, the fact that people are enjoying. Yeah. You're, you're seeing people enjoy their lives more and mm -hmm. become more intimate. Yes. That's, that's my joy. And that's beautiful. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this is Alan Steinfeld for New Realities. I've been talking to Carla Tara and her website, carlatara.com. And Great. email me at newrealities at earthlink.net and check my website, newrealities.com. Thank you. Thanks. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Do we have